Hey guys, welcome back to Ebony with Genghis on server 68. So today I'm going to help a friend uh, wants to get his resource and farming production up. Always a struggle in the game with resources. So this uh, friend gave me a goal for the account. So I'm checking it out and then I'm going to go through some steps that anyone should do anytime. Like I know people purchase accounts, people get alts from people, that sort of stuff. Important things to look for, things you should do. One of the first things that uh, I always look for when I'm helping somebody is I go into the art treasure and make sure they have this one. So this guy does have it. Uh, this is all resource production, the, re the Mona Lisa here. This helps. So we'll look at that again. This is a big one. And so all resource production, 20%. Increase all resource gathering, speed and extra gathering so it is it's really going to help boost the production and the thing is you get it by getting these art treasures and completing the haul but if you're getting an account to be an alt it's going to be hard to do that because you're not going to be joining as many rallies uh you're probably going to be farming with it for the most part so you want that done before you get your hands on it another thing you got to do you got to look at the generals so this one has Shajar, so that's good. She will help boost the production in the city. And then you got to look for farming gens. So right now I only see ones and we're pretty far down. So this doesn't look like a good sign so far. So let's keep going. And some dead generals in here. But uh, yeah, so really there is only one gathering general in here. So that's something that will have to change. Now, should also level up the generals. And this doesn't appear to have too many, too much ability to level it up with books. So I guess if you're lucky enough to be able to get accounts into Battlefield, you can put them on the subs. And I don't think that's enough. No, you need level 22 to get five stars. But what you can do, you can upgrade the politics but this one has a very low total of gems 24,000 so let's see if we have any more gems inside to be able to increase that okay so right here we got a little bit and that's it that is all the gems there's probably some in here but I'm not going to make you guys watch that right now so 2,000 7,000 is that four ten thousand? 10,000 okay there's the 4,000 yeah, so 46,000 gems, that's not enough to start cultivating generals. Now, we could go in here and start looking for generals. I would click this historic button because it will block off all these useless ones and then you can skip through. And basically, you're just looking for any farming general. And even the purple ones, the purple farming generals are good. I won't do this too long. I just wanted to give you an example of uh, what you could do. There's really only t two farming generals I would want. And here's one of them. So the problem with this one, though, is if I look at this account, the other one uh, gives 20% from all spaces and then Queen Jindiak, of course. But if we look here resources this account troop upkeep is six and a half million versus one million food production can't really get that general here can't really bring him in on this city because it's just going to be a waste it's going to be too hard you're going to go over production all all the time or over the, your limit all the time so it's just not worth doing so uh other than that with generals now we have to look at do we want rally generals because here we have right a lot of stamina to burn through and then if we look at our books that we have what are we going to be able to assign to our generals looks like we're really lacking on the level one books to be able to assign them because obviously um, you should assign level ones get three of them on before you put the red level fours on so we're doing okay on gathering books we got luck books, but we don't really have any luck generals. Uh, level one gathering, not doing well either. So this is a pretty poor account in terms of it needs a total makeover. And then if we go to the fields, which is obviously very important. So right here, 
Like, look at this. It's so low. You could actually do free. So looking around these fields, this is a K32. And most of the fields here are 25-ish, it looks like. So there's a few that are above. And to be honest, I'm not sure you need that many farm fields here with uh, the low low production or sorry with the problem of the upkeep because you're not really you're just going to produce food and then it's going to overflow so i guess this is a decent amount another thing you really want to look at is you want to look at what fields do you have the most of right so what i mean by that you want to have one dominant resource so that way you could put your production book on and this one it looks like it's stone if things are done correctly so let's take a look, count up how many stones there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's ten stone fields. Is there anything that has more? There's four wood, six wood. Okay, there's four ore, six ore. So stone looks like the dominant one. I would actually probably consider i'm going to tear apart this field right here this farm just to see if i can add another stone i think i can yes i can add another quarry so you can actually add two more quarries so the reason why this is so important is if you're going to put one of these on stone production 33 percent you should probably have a maximum amount of those fields in order to multiply that. So just doing that right there will increase the stone production. If this is going to be a stone producing city, you want it to be as high. And I'll tell you right now, a little tip in the game. Late in the game, stone is the number one resource in the game. Early, people laugh at it. People are like, I don't want stone. I'll trade stone for food any day. I know I was there. And I had some veterans who told me, no, nah, stone's number one. Like, you got to have stone all the time. You're always going to need it. And their saying was stone kills. So the uh, thinking behind stone kills, I'm going to show you right here. So archers, they use stone. We'll go through all four of these troop types. Obviously, siege use stone. Just circling this in case we have people who don't speak English watching the videos. So, swords use stone. And now, obviously, the one troop that doesn't use stone is horse, right? They do not use any stone. And late in the game, they're kind of going to become your least important warrior troop, your PvP troop, right? You're going to make less horse than you are everything else. You're going to need archers to attack, and you're going to need ground and siege to defend. And you're going to need them siege to attack a lot as well. So you're going to need tons and tons of st stone all the time. You're always going to be running out. It's going to be the hardest one to keep up. And that's basically why you should make stone fields for your alts. You should turn them into stone yards now. Let's look at the research on this account. You want to make sure this column is maximized. Looking good so far. So right here, it's not. So this stuff has to be increased for sure. I'm going to help this guy out and do this. Oh, and he doesn't even have these things composed to help out with the speed. I feel like speed's going to be an issue on this account too. Very low Monarch gear. But let's uh, get into these stone fields. Let's take a look at the actual hourly production and see if we can increase this. How much we'll increase it by. We'll, do, we'll focus on stone only. So we're at 1,043,000 per hour. Let's get in. I'm actually surprised. This is an older account. I thought it would have been completed. So increase the hourly production of the mines. Nope, we're going to do the quarry. Let's see how, how we do. 
uh, feel like it's not, uh, this isn't going as speed up, finish all. Feel like this isn't. Uh, am I running? Am I doing something wrong here? Usually, it's a lot easier just to. Maybe I need to restart the game. Maybe it lagged out on me. Let's see. Yeah, so I'm back in the account, and it looks like it never even started. So let's just make sure. So we're at one million and 48,000. So it looks like I completed one of those. So just one of those increased at 5,000 an hour. And let's continue up 5,000 an hour. That's pretty good. That is 100,000 a day. But obviously, we'd like to start getting into the millions extra an hour, actually, but we'll settle for a day now. See, maybe we can max this out. That would be great. And looks like we did. Perfect. Okay, we'll just set a lumber one right now at slow while we analyze this. And let's see how much we added just by doing that science. Okay, so we added about 150,000 production an hour, maybe 160,000. So that is good. That is about two and a half million more stone a day this account will bring in. And you can see this is a pretty old account. This is over five years. So this is a very, this guy could have used my advice a long time ago, I will say. Now, in terms of uh, getting double generals from the tavern, there is uh, Cleopatra you can try and get. There's also uh, Baybars, obviously. And uh, to be honest, for this account that's so far behind, I'm just not sure it's worth it. I would just send one general at a time to the rallies with no, or sorry, one troop with no general and just uh, let it die. So let's look down here. Uh, we will get a double item drop rate of 10%. And the reason why I said that to just go with no general is because bay bars and a ring, it's only gonna get you up to about 45, 50%. And if you're not well over 50%, you're better off not having a returning mat march be, and then it'll be quicker. Your troop dies and you just join another rally. Now, if you can get that luck up to around, you know, if you're a VIP 16, 17, 18, and you get that extra double drop, you're up to 30%. If you could get that up to around 70, 80%, so it's almost all the time, it's definitely worth it to stay in the march. So these are the first things I look at when uh, someone asks me to look at their account. Uh, I've done this for people before uh, on other servers, people I don't know. If you are interested in it, let me know. Send me a message. Join the Discord. I am willing to help people out. Uh, and I've helped people out in my alliances and on my servers as well. So it is uh, some, some things that people just overlook. And it's a lot. Like just imagine if this guy had that extra 2 million stone a day. Two other things you really have to look for when you're looking at accounts that you want to uh, produce a large amount of resources is monarch talent right here and you want to obviously you want this one you want this to be maxed you want that 20 percent boost uh when you're gathering and then other than that nothing else really matters but you want that and then the other thing you really want to look at is gear what type of gear does the general do the generals have and if i look through this so far i'm seeing nothing good i'm seeing nothing that i like at all for gathering i want well actually that's not true i do like these weapons so there's king's swords that's good for stone there are some good pieces here good for food but again we're not going to use food on this account because the production is too high. So right here, this is the only general that is set up well, and that's because I did it before I started the video for the guy. So it has a king's bow for ore gathering, and then it has champion's gear, and as you can see here, it's going to get the extra, the four-piece buff, the extra resource from gathering. 
So what this person should do is go into their forge. So obviously, and again, of course, it's not composed properly. So not sure if the person was wasting speed or they just never uh, compose it, never use those hats. So you go into the forge and what you want to make is champion's gear. Now I'll only make, I'll only make a couple because I'll make one set because the person doesn't even have farming generals. So why bother making them all yet? Right? So I just made the boots. You only have to make the boots, the pants, the chest and the helmet. And then there's, you need weapons, but the ring will do nothing for gathering at all. So, uh, and this person has an ample amount of weapons. So hopefully that'll be able to get the person through where they need to. And now helmet. And then there you got your four piece buff for someone. And we can put that on, let's see who is out farming right now. Uh, Right here, Queen Badika can use this, and now she will return with an extra 10% from every resource that she is gathering. So that those are the things that I really look for when looking at how much production an account can actually bring you. For the past four years, right? How much more he would have and how much more he could build and uh, maybe get that 80 million power up. So this is Genghis server 68. Let me know things that you first look for when you're trying to raise up a city's production. If you're trying to help someone out, obvious things that you're looking at. Genghis server 68, like, subscribe, leave a comment.